Welcome back to vChannel. ELS is increasingly popular because there's a lot of nice functions and open source. Today I will guide you how to update the firmware. URLs for the handles ELS. It's the same thing, guys. First, we need to download a tool called Express Configurators. Hey guys, we'll download it. In the installation of HA, we will click on the download button. Just install it as normal software. Once installed, we will have Express LS Configurator. We'll have the interface here. We will have a version of the ELS firmware. For example, if you want to upgrade to 3.4, let me choose here. Next, we will select the device category. I have a Radio Master. To point for gigahertz exactly the same if you have hand. If you have the other, you can choose it with your own hands. On this device, I have a pocket. Here, brothers. Else can use Wi-Fi. I will choose to flash by Wi-Fi. In the regulatory domain, I will choose standard. The binding phase we leave default like this. WIFI password does not need to be entered. I'm going to press build now. And then it's automatic. It creates us a firmware file. You see, so good. Okay, now I move this firmware file now. For example, move to download here. The next we will. Operation on the controller. Then we'll open source. I will press the system button. Then to the ELS menu, you see. Click on it and let it open. It loads. If it doesn't load here. I also did one. The video shows you how to install it. It is only the size that is installed, but it is not damaged. Where is it? We're going to pull it down. Wi-Fi connectivity. We will click on enable Wi-Fi. That Wi-Fi is starting to run. It is broadcasting that Wi-Fi brothers. Now on the computer, we'll connect. Wi-Fi is emitted by this handle. We'll click on the Wi-Fi icon. You see it emits a Wi-Fi network. Express LRSTX, you can click on the link. Now it's asking us for the password. Hey guys, we're going to enter the password. It's Expresslers. That successful connection, brothers. Now it's going to come up with an interface. Go through the update and select the file. If it's faulty here. For example, this browser uses Safari. It's not in the dialog box. Let's just type this address, guys. Let's use Chrome again. 10.0.0.1. It's already in the interface. Chrome, it works. We click on update. The current table is 3.3. We choice file. We will select the file. Press update. The update was successful. After the firmware update is successful, it exits. Now, we're going to go back to enable Wi-Fi. Then we'll reconnect this Wi-Fi. Let's refresh this address. 10.0.0.1 Millet. We have successfully updated to version 4. Good luck to you. Bye and see you later.